I just realized that. Okay. For those listening in, sorry, we'll just, I'll, yeah, I'll come back and talk about that later. So anyway, um, but so I plan out my week and I try to do day, like high traffic social media days are typically like Monday mornings, Wednesdays, um, early Saturday mornings, um, even sometimes like, you know, the evening nights. And it kind of depends on your, your audience. I think we're all pretty similar. We're all moms, you know, with young kids. And, um, but, you know, trying to think about the time when your market is on social media the most, and you might, it might take you a week or two to kind of look at your posts and see when you get the most traction and what gains you the most traction. Um, and whether that's, you know, like posting pictures of your family and, you know, you get a lot of traction from stuff like that. So, you know, that if you do a picture of your family, like you're going to have a lot of people seeing your social media stuff. So then thinking about doing a, you know, a, like a right hook around that post or something like that. Um, Beth, do you have anything you want to add while I'm just rambling over here? Um, no, I mean, I, I suggest you all read the book yourselves, um, the Jab, Jab, Jabber. It's a really good book, um, and it goes through all the different social media outlets, so it talks about what to do on Instagram and what to do on Facebook and, you know, what to do on Twitter, and, you know, so it, it's it's really good. Um, also, um, you know, I think that, you know, as much as, you know, you Jab, 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 right hook, you know, you also need to look at, you know, um, like who you're, who you're talking to and like, you know, are you making sure you're adding new context? Cause if you're like, you can jab, jab, jab a lot, you know what I mean? But if, if this, if only the same people are seeing your stuff all the time and those people aren't interested, you know, you need to make sure you're adding new friends and getting these new contacts and making sure that you have new people to talk to. Um, and that really is going to come from even your new challengers and things like that. So, um, that's all I would want to add is make sure that you're getting kind of like new contacts. If you don't have a like page, um, that's not a bad idea as, as you're wanting to grow your business to start one like now, because you need to make sure that you have some other way of gaining new people to talk to. Um, because even as good as your posts are, if you only, you know, if you're one of those people that only has like, I don't know, 350 friends on Facebook and you've been a coach for a year now and you feel like you're running out of people, you know, you need to make sure that you have kind of like, um, you know, a second plan, a plan B of where you're going to find new people. Because if you've been talking to the same people all the time, you don't want to chase people. Those people aren't your people. You know what I mean? You want people that are the people that are going to work. And if you, I mean, I'm not saying you, you don't still post to those same people, but you know, by bringing in new people, you can kind of at least alleviate some of the stress of I've went through these people like every single month and it's the same people I'm inviting constantly and I'm chasing people because I don't have anybody to invite, you know, make sure you're expanding your, your network. Yeah, I agree. I, um, like page stuff is, um, something that I was like, when I first started, I was like, I don't really know anything about that. I still don't really know a ton about like page stuff. However, um, I know that I've ran some ads and I've done some, um, some, I personally, uh, do a lot of videos and I, um, do ads for my videos and that has gained me a ton of traction. Um, so little things like that. And it's kind of a trial and error. And that's something we can kind of dive into a little bit more later in this training. Um, and we can give you guys some really good tips on good, um, like page content and, um, and you know, I know it gets tricky. What do I post on my personal page versus what do I post on my like page? And like, do I duplicate that? Do I share both back and forth? You know, I kind of still do that. And I tend to use my like page a lot more for fitness stuff. So me personally, I'm sharing a lot more stuff for fitness on my like page. And then I share things back and forth, you know, um, but I just try to use that, you know, if I'm like, I don't know if I want to post a picture of me and my sports bra on my personal page. Okay. I'll put it on my fitness page. You know, like I just, cause that's a lot more random people that I don't know as opposed to my personal page. So that's kind of a nice Avenue too. Like if you're still a little bit like hesitant about putting yourself out there completely on your personal page, then the benefit of having a like page is that you can just kind of tear the bandaid off and be like, well, 
I don't really know these people anyway, so they're just going to have to see my booty and whatever. Like, you know, like, I, mean, it's just- I always feel better posting on my like page because I'm like, you liked my page. Like, you came to yeah. me. Like, you know what I mean? Like, this is what you're going to get. So, uh, <laughs> so, yeah. So, recipes and stuff are great on there. Um, and just, like, I do, I do live videos on there, um, you know, talking about nutrition and fitness stuff. And, like, again – we all know that like we're not experts and it doesn't take a lot of information to have experience at this you know like you guys you guys get it like you know a little bit about fitness and a little bit about nutrition we all know a little bit about fitness a little bit about nutrition and we don't have to be professionals but we know enough to share with somebody like how to change their habits and how to um create healthier habits and even just simple like melissa you your video that you did this morning, was it this morning? Um, with the pancakes and you know, just that little snippet into your life and just sharing, um, you know, sharing your thoughts and your feelings. And, um, you know, you, you might not have 150,000 comments on it and that's fine. Um, but you spoke real and raw to people and people that watched that video saw a side of you that doesn't come through in just, a picture on Facebook, you know, and that's why I love Facebook live is because you can share things like that and you can connect with people on a different level. Um, and just really share with them your emotion and your, um, experience and stuff like that. Um, and so if, you know, Facebook live is not something that you're totally comfortable with, then having a like page is a great spot to kind of start and start putting yourself out there and stuff like that. So, um, kind of another little benefit. A lot of people are like video is huge on Facebook right now. People love to see videos. I mean, you guys know it. scroll through Facebook for five minutes and how many of the things pop up in your newsfeed are videos, probably at least 50%. Um, and then you're trapped, like looking at some video of like a dog chasing a ball or something. And it's like 10 minutes go by and you're like, what, if I, what am I been doing? Um, but so putting yourself out there as far as video and stuff goes, um, yeah, recommended. Um, we were going to try to keep this call to 15 minutes. I did want to touch a little bit, but go back a little bit to planning out your week. Um, so, you know, I have, I actually have a calendar that I like a bigger notepad thing like this that I use. Um, it's upstairs though, but I sit down with that and I write out some things that I want to talk about this week. Like I know I'm going to post a new recipe. I know I'm going to do a lot about Sean week and I'm going to talk a little bit about that. I'm going to talk about my nutrition this week and how I'm not drinking alcohol, God willing. Um, and I'm going to, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Um, come, come Saturday. My husband's probably going to leave me. So, um, <laughs> I just had a margarita. <laughs> That's why I laughed. I said, I just had a margarita. <laughs> Three beers at the air show today. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so, I mean, just little things like that that I know I want to talk about. Um, I blog, so I'll probably do another blog post and or recipe. I'm going to do um, a three-week summer sweat challenge group starting on the 19th. So I know I'm going to try to drum up some interest for that too. Um, and then just sharing little, I mean, constantly adding value. You know, if, like Melissa's video, again, I'll use your example this morning. Melissa, like that was a great, great video providing value. And Um, you know, that got me thinking this morning. And um, so just, you know, little things that, and like tips and stuff that you can add that you can share with people, um, you know, that help build that trustworthy relationship is really important. So do you guys have any questions about like the Sean Week stuff and like promoting stuff and like getting a handle on that and what to do with it? No, um, we probably all have a bunch of work to do tonight as far as that goes. So we won't keep you guys any longer. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions or come up with anything, post them in the comments below. I will post a recording for this, um, as brief as it was, but, um, we'll kind of just continue this week with the same, you know, similar kind of assignments ish. If you're not already reading this, um, read it 
It's so good. I'm on chapter four, chapter five. And um, yeah, I'm loving it. It's pretty good. So, all right, y'all. Have a lovely evening. Thanks for getting on, ladies. All right, we'll talk to you have later. Have a great week, guys. Try to make sure your Sean Week group, you really kind of focus in, especially if you have new people in there that have never been in one of your groups before, make sure you focus in on them and, you know, kind of like give them some extra special attention because those can definitely turn out to be challengers or coaches or whatever. So if you, if you don't have a Sean Week group starting yet, well, go make one right now. <laughs> Get one ready. <laughs> All right, ladies. It's going to be awesome. All right. Have a good one. Bye. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.